In the following genome demonstration, we'll be selecting vertices based on a reference vector. We have a geosphere in our scene. Let's select it and add a genome modifier to it. This modifier is set to vertex iteration mode. We can select the editor and press Ctrl All to add a selection output and we'll be selecting vertices this way. Then we press Shift N to add a vertex normal. We create a vector dot product with a reference vector of 001, which will normalize in case it's changed by the user. And at this point, we have a selection going in the top half of the geosphere, which is zero at the equator and one at the pole vertex. Right now, we are clamping the selection, which means that the values are only between zero and one. And if we add a modifier on top of the stack, for example, a push, only the top half of the geosphere will be pushed according to the soft selection. If we push more or less, the bottom is not reacting and the top is being blown accordingly. If we uncheck the clamping, we'll have now negative values at the bottom and positive on the top half of the sphere. And if we introduce an absolute value operator into the flow, both the top and the bottom will be pushed equally with positive values between 0 and 1. Let's see how we can create a hard selection. We'll introduce a logical less operator and compare to a floating point value, which will call threshold and will expose in the user interface as a control, as a spinner. Now we can change the spinner between 0 and 1. But before that, we'll have to make sure that our output of the logical operation is converted from Boolean to a float because the output of the selection channel is expected as a floating point number. Now that we can change the threshold between 0 and 1, we can select more or less vertices. And you'll notice that if we go to 1.0, the top and the bottom vertices are not being completely selected because we're checking for less and not less or equal. We can switch our operator to less or equal. And now we are covering the whole geosphere with a value of 1. Let's introduce a switch. This is an if statement where we'll pass both the hat and the soft selection uh, outputs and we'll control it with an integer exposed in the user interface, which turns out as a checkbox. But we want to rename it to be called soft selection. That means right now it has the opposite uh, setting. So I'll we'll select the switch, press Ctrl W to swap the two inputs. And now we have a checkbox which switches soft selection on and off. Let's take a look at the input vector. Currently, it can be exposed in the user interface and we could change the X, Y and Z components in order to define a new orientation of our selection in space. But this is not very convenient because we would have to know the actual X, Y, Z components of the vector that we are interested in. Instead, we can select the input value and change it to input object create a cone in the scene as a reference object or any other object, a point helper and so on. We'll pick this object. Right now our flow is not valid because we cannot normalize an object, but we can add a property query operator and now by default it's providing the position as the vector of reference. Instead of that we'll add the transformation row 3, which is the z-axis of the cone we'll remove the position and we'll use this value. Now if we start rotating the cone, our selection will also orient correctly on the geosphere. We can animate this cone over time and the selection will follow. Notice that we're not rotating the geosphere, we're rotating the selection on the geosphere 
that's why we have this checker pattern there as a reference. We could stop the flow of the selection on the stack by adding, for example, a mesh select and then relax the resulting mesh. We use a lot of iterations and now if we play back the animation we can get a very smooth surface which is deforming as if two spheres are inside the volume. We can also switch to the heart selection. We're getting a similar result. A smoothed surface where the deformation is actually moving around and the geosphere is static. 